systems of equation word problems. This is typically um, when you have a word problem. I don't want to say typically they are systems, but quite often they're systems. Remember, a system is when you have two unknowns and you have two equations, or more than one unknown, I should say. So it says the sum of two numbers is 67. So we have two numbers that are going to add to 67, since the word sum means that. Um, and then the difference of the numbers is 23. So anytime you're doing word problems, always find the important information first. So we know that it says the sum. So remember the sum is an answer to an addition problem. And then, sorry. And then the difference, the word difference means is an answer to a subtraction. Okay, so we're going to set up, we always have to set up two equations. So we know that it says the sum of two numbers is 6 and 7. We don't know the two numbers, so again, when we don't know two or something in math, we use a variable. So we're going to say x plus y has to equal 67. This is the sum equation. And then we're going to do the difference. So the difference of the two numbers, so whatever, so some number minus y is going to equal 23. So we have x plus y equals 67, because it's the answer to an addition problem is 67. And then the difference, since we're subtracting, you have to take x and subtract y to get 23. So difference... So x plus y has to equal 67, and x minus y has to equal 23. Then you're going to just solve the system however you want. Um, you can do substitution. You can just do elimination. In my opinion right now, it's easier to just do elimination because we have y minus y, so those are going to automatically cancel. So then we're going to solve the system. So x plus x, remember that's 1x plus 1x, so that's 2x. y minus y cancels, bring down your equal sign. 67 plus 23, 7 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Then divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 45. And you can type that in your calculator, um, but x equals 45. Um, now, it doesn't matter which one, again, you plug it back into. I'm going to do the top one because, again, I don't like using negatives. So I'm going to plug this into the top one. So then it would be 45 plus y equals 67. Then I'm going to subtract 45, subtract 45, 67 minus 45, 67 minus 45, 7 minus 5 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2, so y equals 22. So then we have 45 comma 22. And that is our solution. 
Um, you can. I'm going to go ahead and plug those in just to see. So, 45 plus 22, that equals 67, and 45 minus 22, that equals 23. Um, sometimes you're typically not on these word problems. You're not going to be asked just x comma y because. So sometimes you're going to have. Sorry, I got interrupted by announcements, but um, so. It depends on which way you have x. You could have said y. You could have written the variables the other way. So typically, it's going to ask something like the larger number. So the larger number here, of course, is 45. Um, the smaller number is 22. You also, um, like if we're talking about number of boys in a class and number of girls, it'll say boys, girls. It won't just say x and y. It could, but typically it actually says something like larger number is, smaller number is. So just make sure when you're doing these, I know you guys hate word problems, it's just a matter of figuring out what this it's telling you and setting up the equations and then solving.